Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can customize many features of the spelling and grammar tool in Word. To view the proofing options for Word, click the File tab in the ribbon. Then click the Options command at the left side of the Backstage view. Then click the Proofing category at the left side of the Word Options dialog box. In the When Correcting Spelling in Microsoft Office Programs section, click the checkboxes next to the checkbox options to turn them on or off. A check in the box indicates an option is selected and enabled. Following this section, there are two other sections for options that apply to Word only and to the current document only. They are the When Correcting Spelling and Grammar in Word section and the Exceptions for section. You can check or uncheck the options here to set additional default spelling and grammar options for Word and for the current document specifically. Notice the Recheck Document button. Normally, Word accepts that you have properly corrected the document once you have finished your spelling check and does not spell check the document twice. If you have checked your document once but made mistakes with the replacements, then you must reset Word's spelling and grammar tool by clicking this button to prompt Word to recheck the document and recheck words it previously checked but that you chose to ignore. Another useful feature of Microsoft Word is the autocorrect feature. All users mistype or misspell words. There may be words that you seem to frequently mistype. Word provides the autocorrect feature to help you automatically correct common misspellings of words. For example, if you commonly mistype the word the as T-E-H, autocorrect can automatically replace that misspelling as you type. To view the autocorrect feature, click the autocorrect options button at the top of the proofing options shown in the word options dialog box. Doing this then opens the autocorrect dialog box. Click the autocorrect tab to set or change the autocorrect options for Word. Here you can add either a plain text or formatted text entry for your autocorrect entry. So if your company's name is always in a 16 point Tahoma font and bolded, you could create a formatted entry so that when it is inserted, it will always retain all its formatting. To create a plain text entry, type the misspelling to automatically correct into the replace field. Then type the correct spelling into the with field. Alternatively, to create a formatted entry, first type the word or phrase into your document as you want it to appear with all the necessary formatting. Then select the word or phrase in the document. At that point, then open the autocorrect dialog box. Your formatted selection should then appear within the with field. You can then click into the Replace field and type the shortcut text entry for the formatted entry. Then ensure that you select the option button above the formatted entry that says Formatted Text to save it as a formatted text entry. After creating either type of entry, you then click the Add button to add the autocorrect entry to the list. To delete an autocorrect entry from the list on the Autocorrect tab, simply select the entry to delete. Then click the Delete button in the lower right corner of the Autocorrect tab. After setting your Autocorrect options, simply click the OK button to close the dialog box and save your changes. Then click the OK button in the Word Options dialog box to close and save the default proofing options. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.